guys so let's simulate so first of all as i said before remember here for this kind of antenna we are able to apply symmetries okay which gonna reduce a lot of the computational cost okay of your simulation this is a good for point for that as you can see here this kind of antenna shows a lot of symmetries okay so that's a good advantage mm, how do we do that how we do how, how we define this kind of symmetries well it's quite simple first of all regarding the theory okay we got to know about we got to learn about the theory of a coaxial cable okay as you can see here i will show you for a second let's move to the theory right here okay this is this is the cable field lines okay as you can see here there we go as you can see here we got this is the radiated field how those lines of our field propagates within the cable okay so here we got a particular case where all those fields are propagated to the outside okay to the outside of the cable as you can see here the blue arrows okay are pointing out okay what does it mean well due to the symmetries of a uh, mm, of this kind of cables let's say we could apply symmetries in this axis and this axis okay which reduce the computational cost to just one quarter okay if we apply both symmetries which is quite useful this is a theory i will show you the results on cst and you will corroborate that okay so for that just launch one simulation for example like now we are ready to go and i will show you okay guys so let's jump into our simulation okay so first of all let's start talking about the symmetrical case okay and what i'm going to say apply for both cases okay we are going to talk firstly about um, symmetric planes okay what is a symmetric plane well CST have an option to define symmetry planes okay on our solid in order to compute just one sector for example a quarter of simulation and then CST automatically um, interpolate those results to the whole solid okay I will show you and you will understand so first of all the symmetry planes are located here on boundary okay and as I said before CST bring us the possibility to reduce by uh, four by four a factor of four the time and also the computational cost as you can see this is the region that we are going to simulate okay and automatically CST gonna calculate the rest by using just this sector moreover and quite important it should be said that this is possible because of the antenna geometry as you can see this antenna presents a lot of symmetries okay so that's the reason and another reason is due to the coaxial cable that we are using okay 
I will explain you in a moment and I and yeah we will relate it with the theory okay which is quite interesting and important to know so how do we know that we could apply symmetries first of all we need to guard to have uh, symmetries on our solid okay our antenna solid secondly we need to know we need to know the field lines through our cable how we do do that okay well we got an option right here to this with the results port modes okay port one because we just have one and there we go here we got the field for the electrical and also for the magnetical as you can see a bit closer right there we got the electrical this is the performance this is the behavior okay first of all we got a line impedance which is really close to 50 okay perfect we could assume a good matching right here tem mode okay relating it with the theory remember and um, as you can see here we got those arrows okay i think yeah we got animation yeah there we go there we go okay so arrows for the electrical field point out okay remember that remember that if we move to the ele the magnetical performance you can see that the behavior is totally different okay they move like this okay around the circle not pointing down just around it mm, remember so this is the electrical and also this is the magnetical so if we move to the theory okay regarding the theory here we got a really important topic to know okay which is which is <laughs> look at this guys this is the performance of a circular wave guide okay circular wave guide which is quite similar to the performance presented on a coaxial cable and as you can see here as you can see here sounds familiar to you this one take a look closer as you can see on blue color we got field lines pointed out okay sounds similar to you now okay secondly we got red arrows okay proceeding this way on circular path as you can see so is the same is the same that we saw on CST result and what does it mean well it means that we could apply symmetries at both place planes okay both planes but the symmetry should be magnetical okay magnetical magnetical not electrical this is for another case okay so for this particular case with this performance we could apply magnetical symmetry here and another here okay how we do do that on CST well so simple so simple you have to make sure just for a moment yeah now I'll show you now this better and yep there we go there we go this is our quaxa cable how we are ready to apply some symmetries remember magnetical in both planes okay so for that simulation boundary okay and here we got symmetry planes and as you can see here i already did it here we got mm, as you can see here we got magnetical as you got this is the the angle okay and we got magnetical on both planes okay 
not electrical could be electrical but this is not the case this is not the case if you try it you will get mm, wrong results so try that one magnetical and magnetical okay make sure you select the correct planes okay the proper planes and you will have you will obtain something like this okay okay so in order to validate the symmetrical planes I recommend you to do two simulation one without symmetrical plane I mean without that configuration non and non okay and another with both symmetrical plane remember magnetical and the result should be the same okay as you can see here I already have it I already simulated and there we go I will show you the results for ah for the um, for the same solid the same antenna size but one with symmetrical planes and another with not symmetrical but without symmetrical planes and as you can see here the result is almost the same okay the blue one refers to the symmetry case and there is some difference here but is not that much and the cost the computational cost and the simulation time was reduced by a factor of four times okay which is a large time a lot of time okay sorry a lot of time to to reduce it so this is a good advantage for us okay as you can see here at the bottom we got a half million when the case of not using symmetric planes we achieve two million and a half okay that's a good advantage for us and also it applies for symmetrical and also for asymmetrical planes why because the as you can see here if we, this is the asymmetrical case if we and just for a second like this and here magnetic and magnetic as you can see here this sector is the same as this one as this one and as this one so this kind of antenna presents quite good symmetry condition for doing that okay and look at the mesh here we got 10 millions and if we apply accept then we got three millions okay that's the difference okay we can use it for symmetrical and asymmetrical case